Our world is changing fast. The population is growing, requiring increasing resources. But at the same time, there's a strong call for sustainability. We're all looking for ways to produce renewable food and energy. Here in Wageningen, scientists are meeting these challenges with something called synthetic biology. Synthetic biology? Isn't that something superficial, stuff made out of plastic? Well, no. Synthetic biology uses elementary building blocks of nature and sort of reassembles them so as to make better use of their potential. But it's complicated stuff, and that's why we're going to talk to Professor Vitor Martin dos Santos so he can explain how it really works. Well, basically, synthetic biology is, is bringing engineering to biology. It follows the path of uh, model-driven design, of standardization of parts and systems, of modularizing the different parts, then assembling them and fabricating, like we do for bridges and houses and cars and everything in our physical lives. So it's really not just a, a solution to one specific problem, but it's rather of, of having different ways of connecting things and different projects to generate solutions for many different parts of our lives. So imagine a very serious disease uh, causing plants that have a huge economical impact in the world. To fight this disease, you develop bacteria that you can bring into these plants. They would destroy the pathogen and let the plant grow happily forever. Well, that's exactly what our students did two years ago. We developed a system to fight uh, Panama disease, which affects uh, Cavendish bananas, which is the biggest uh, banana crop in the world. Right, so this is how it works. When improvement is needed in a biological system, like a cell or a plant, biological engineers first construct a model. Then they make a design. They standardize the design and then they modularize it. After testing the modules, it's ready for fabrication. So now we know how synthetic biology works, what can we do with it? To find out, let's ask another one of the researchers here, Derek Bosch. Actually, synthetic biology is a way of working. It is a way to address societal issues. And because of that, you can implement it in many areas. For example, we could try to improve and protect our environment by making biofuels or bioplastics. We can improve our health by making new drugs and new medicines. But we can also make enough sufficient food that is healthy as well. So synthetic biology is performed worldwide, but here in Wageningen, we take an integrated approach. We start with the societal issue and from there on try to implement synthetic biology. Risk-benefit assessment and responsible resource innovation are embedded in our strategy. In that way we try to bring solutions to society for a better future. Well that sounds alright, but what solutions are we actually talking about? Here in Wageningen there are five different levels in which synthetic biology is used. On a molecular level, scientists work, for example, on vaccines. On a cell level, tiny factories are created to produce useful stuff. Organs are the next level. Think of an artificial nose based on biosensors. An organism might be subject of research to adapt a plant, for instance. And synthetic biology also works on entire ecosystems like the microbiota we find in the human gut. On all of these levels, Wageningen takes into account not only societal issues and risk analysis, but also societal wishes about its research and approach. Well, now we have a clearer understanding of how synthetic biology works. On many different levels, scientists work with existing building blocks in order to improve biological systems, much like a technical designer would. This technique offers new and exciting possibilities when it comes to improving our everyday lives. <laughs>